how I came to be homeless and living on the streets was a culmination of a lot of bad choices, circumstances, and bad luck in some instances. It was, it was hard. It was lonely at times, it, even though you're, you're surrounded by a lot of people, in your mind you've still got, you've still got a lot going on, you're still quite lonely in, in that respect. It was, it was probably difficult. We are really trying to minister to people who find themselves on the margins of society. Uh, that could be rough sleepers, that could be people struggling with mental health, alcohol and drug problems. Uh, so yeah, we're really trying to aim for those people who are the unseen, you know, the people who are ignored and unvalued, yeah, throughout London. When I really needed somewhere to go in the morning, we'd all go there and we'd sit down. Or it might have even been a Bible study on a Tuesday. That's where it all started. The first one I'd ever done, and it was the parable of the mustard seed. The way that he broke it down and opened it up, it just it made a lot of sense. We try and reach the whole person. So the depth of our ministry um, happens where we can share the eternal promises of God that are fulfilled through Jesus Christ. All this, all this time through my life and the difficulties that I'd had, I've now got someone that's standing there telling me, like, I'm, I'm there with you. Christmas is probably the worst, the worst time of the year because everyone wants to be around their friends and their family. And not, just, it's not even just the physical roof over your head. It's to have some people around you. I didn't always have that at, at Christmas out there. My mate and I, we came out of the gym yesterday, and he said to me, um. He said, do you still feel God? I said, what we have to remember is that like, God is always there. I said, it's us that removes ourselves from, the, from him. And I said, as long as you always keep that in your mind, um, everything will be all right in the end. To love someone who loves me unconditionally is it's, it's easy, even though we still don't get that right. He's just waiting, it's the prodigal son. That love doesn't change from him. It saved my life, no doubt, no question. I was on my way to death at, in a very big way. So yeah, very important.